Okay, we're going to work on our worksheet today to practice composite figures. Uh, so we're going to start with number one. It says find the surface area. We want the surface area of this entire uh, kind of weird looking shape. So first we're going to start with the top. We're going to find that that is part of a sphere. Okay, so we're going to start with the sphere. <clears throat> this is the uh, only half of the sphere. So how would you find this? Well, surface area for a sphere is 4 pi r squared. So plug in our numbers, we get 4 pi, radius is 6, because if the diameter is 12, you just divide that by 2. So now we get 4 pi, pi 6 squared. To figure this out, we say 4 pi, 6 squared is 36. Multiply these together, leave in terms of pi. So 36 times 4, we end up with 144 pi. Now this is the area of the entire sphere, surface area of the whole sphere, but we don't want the whole sphere. We only want half the sphere, so we're going to divide that by 2, and we end up with 144 divided by 2, getting 72 pi. Now this is the area of half of the sphere. Then we're going to find the surface area of the cylinder on the bottom, but we don't want all of the cylinder on the bottom because the top of the cylinder is already being covered by the half the sphere. So we don't need the top. We only need the outside of the sphere, uh, the cylinder, the side of it, and the bottom. So how would you find that? Well, cylinder. Let's go ahead and use a different color. So for the cylinder, uh, a cylinder is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. So pi r squared is the base uh, the area of the base, which is a circle, and then it has two because it's the top and the bottom. But we don't want, again, we don't want the top, so we're going to erase the two and just leave it just like this. So we end up with 2 pi r h plus pi r squared, and this is the side and the bottom of the cylinder. So we get 2 times pi radius, again, just like the top of the sphere, is 6. The height in this case is 13 plus pi radius 6 squared. 2 times 6 times 13, we get 156 pi, plus 6 squared is 36. 156 plus 36 is 192 pi. So we have 192 pi plus 72 pi. Add those together for the whole shape. 100... Oh. 192 pi plus 72 pi. We end up with 192 plus 72, 264 pi. And this is our final answer. Next question, number two. Let's find the surface area of this shape. So looking at this, we have on the right side is half of a cylinder, and the middle is a rectangular prism, and on the left side is half of a cylinder. So for finding surface area, first I'm going to look at the right side. Uh, it is half of a cylinder, so I'm going to first find the surface area of the cylinder, of a whole cylinder, and then I can divide it by two to just get the half. So first, how do you find the total surface area of a cylinder? A cylinder is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. So let's plug in some numbers. Radius here, well if the whole thing all the way across, the diameter is 4, means the radius is 2. The height, this distance right here, up and down, is 3 plus 2 pi, radius again, 2 squared. 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12 pi plus 2 squared is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, so we get 8 pi. Add these two together, 12 pi plus 8 pi is 20 pi. So this is the entire cylinder, but we don't want the entire cylinder, we only want half of the cylinder, so we get, divide that by 2, 10 pi. So this cylinder on the right side is 10 pi. Similarly, the similar on the right, or the left side, is also 10 pi, because it's the exact same thing, same dimensions, everything. So we have two of them, 10 pi and 10 pi. If we add those together, we might as well, we 
we get 20 pi. Next, we're going to find the middle in here, which is a rectangular prism. We need to realize first that this rectangle and this rectangle are not going to be included in our surface area, which means we don't want to find total surface area of a rectangular prism. Why? Because they're on the inside of our shape, and you don't want it on the inside. We want surface out on the outside. So we're going to find the area of the top, find the area of the bottom, find the area of the front, and find the area of the back, add all those up together. So first, let's start with the front right here. We notice that the bottom is 6, the base, and the height up and down is 3. This is a rectangle, which is just base times height, and we get 6 times 3, which is 18. The back is also base 6, height 3, so it's also 18. The top has a base 6, height 4. So we say 6 times 4, and we get 24. Now again, we have the front and the back both being 18, so multiply that by 2. The top and the bottom both being 24, so multiply that by 2. So we get 18 times 2 is 36, 24 times 2 is 48. Add these two together, 36 plus 48, and we end up getting 84. So this is for the whole rectangular prism. Add these two numbers together, 84 and 20 pi, and that'll give us the total. Now 20 pi we can't necessarily add together because it has a pi in there. So we're going to put 20 pi in the calculator, and we end up getting 62.8. Add those two numbers together, 84 plus 62.8, and we end up with 146.8, and that is our total. Next question, I'm skipping to number four. Number four, this is an interesting shape. Again, we're finding surface area, so we want to find the surface, or the, the area of each piece. Now, this is kind of a weird shape, but everything is rectangles here, except for this L-shaped in the front, and it would be the L-shaped thing also in the back. So everything that I do on the front can also be done on the back. So what I'm going to do first is split this down here and find the area of this piece and find the area of this piece so I can find both. They're both now rectangles. So this number is 2, and it is uh, 3 plus 2 tall. What's 3 plus 2? It is 5, because this part's 3. If this is 2 from being in the back, this part's also 2, so 3 plus 2 is 5. So we have this rectangle in the front, 5 times 2 being 10. I'm going to write that over here, 10. This part right here is 2 tall, and how many would it be over? Well, if this part is 2, the whole side being 6, 6 minus 2 is 4 left over, so base 4, height 2, 4 times 2 equals equals 8. So I'm going to write that over here also. So this whole thing, 10 and 8, would be 18 for the front, so the back would also be 18. I'm going to write that down. Then I'm going to do this side right here. 8 times 2, again it's a rectangle, so 8 times 2 is 16. This top part right here, 4 times 8, would be 32. This part again being 8. 8 times 3 is 24. This part up here again, 8, 8, 8. This one is also 8. So 8 times 2 is 16. I'm going to write all these down over here. So 16, 24, 32, and 16. And then we're going to find the back face over there. Well, it's 8 across and it's 5 tall, so 8 times 5 is 40. Write this over here. And then we're going to figure out the bottom. Well, this side is 6, this side is 8. 8 times 6 is 48. Write this over here, 48. We're going to add all the sides up together. 48 plus 40 plus 16 plus 32 plus 24 plus 16 plus 18 plus 8 plus 10. What is that number? 
plus 18 plus 16 plus 24, 40, 48. We end up with 212, and that is our total surface area. Okay, continuing on. Number five. Uh, it's kind of a weird shape. We're finding the surface area again. So on the right side, we have this. Uh, it's a cone pointing out outwards. On the left side, there's also a cone pointing out uh, outwards. On the right side, we know the height and the radius. And we do not know this, uh, this distance, which we call L. And it's called the slant height. On the left side, we know the slant height and we know the same radius, but we don't know the height. So let's see what actually information we need to know. If we're finding surface area, I'm going to do each part separately. If we think about it, on a cone, we only want the outside part with not the circle base. If we're looking for all the other part, all the other sides, and not the, f not the base, that's called lateral surface area. Okay, the surface area is of a cone on the right side is pi r l. So we do need slant height, we do not need the height. Okay, so let's look at the right side only, just first, right side. Pi r l, well pi radius is 6, l slant height, hmm, well we don't know this one yet. We can do, make this into a right triangle. We know the height, we know the radius, let's find the slant height. So we could do 6 squared plus 8 squared is equal to x squared. 6 squared is 36. 8 squared is 64 is equal to x squared. 36 plus 64 is 100. Oops, not 1,100. Is equal to x squared. x is equal to, if you get rid of the square root, or get rid of the squared, you take the square root. So we say square root of 100, which is 10. Meaning slant height right here is 10. 10 times 6 is 60. We keep along our pi, 60 pi. This is the right side. Now let's do the left. The left side is again pi r l. Pi radius is still 6 on the left side. Slant height this time is 12. 6 times 12, we end up with 72. So 72 pi. This is the left side. So total, you add the two together. 60 pi plus 72 pi. We end up with 132 pi. Next question, number seven. Uh, now we're on the back of the worksheet, and it's asking for volume. So this is a little interesting of a picture. What's going on here is first on the top, there's a cylinder. And on the bottom, there is a cone. So how would you find the total volume of this? Well, I don't know how to find the volume of this weird looking shape, but I do know how to find the volume of a cylinder. I know how to find the volume of a cone. So I can just find each individually and then add them together. So first, we're going to find the cylinder. The volume of a cylinder, if we look at our formula chart, volume of a cylinder is big B times H. Big B, remember, stands for area of the base. Well, for a cylinder, the base is a circle. So area of a circle is pi r squared. OK, for a circle. Pi radius is 5 squared. 5 squared is 25. We carry along our pi. So this is what big B is, 25 pi. Our height, h, is 6. 25 times 6 is 150 pi. This is the, the volume of our cylinder. Next, let's find the volume of the cone on the bottom. Cone. The volume of a cone, looking at our formula chart, is 1 third big B times H. 1 third big B. Big B stands for the area of the base. Well, again, on the cone, the area or the base is a circle, so the area would be pi r squared. Again, it's a circle. So we say pi radius is, again, 5. 5 squared. 5 squared is 25. Carry along our pi. Hey, look, it's the same as our cylinder. It should be. That makes sense. So 25 pi 
is big B. H stands for the height. The height of the cone is 12. One third times 12, 25 times 12. We end up with 100 pi. This is the volume of the cone. To find the total, add the two together. So we say 150 pi plus 100 pi. We end up with 250 pi. This is our total answer. Next question, number eight. Again, we want to find the volume. So what do we do for the volume? Again, this is a pyramid and a rectangular prism. Two shapes. Together, I don't know how to find the volume, but separately I can find each one and add them together. So I'm going to start with the top with the pyramid. Okay, the volume of the pyramid is going to be one-third Big B times H. Okay, Big B. Well, the base of this pyramid, let's look at it. This side is two. This is a rectangle. This one is also two. This is two. This is two. So this base is actually a square. Area of a square. Base times height. Two times two is four. Height is, tells us, two. So we say one-third times four times two. So 4 times 2 is 8. 8 divided by 3 is 2.6666667, which rounds to 2.7. Next, we can find the volume of the rectangular prism. So prism. And we end up with, well, volume of a prism is just big B times H. Big B, just like on the pyramid, it's a square. We're going to call the bottom the base. So 2 times 2 is 4. The height in this case is 4. So 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Add these two numbers together for the total. We get 16 plus 2.7, and that is 18.7. That's our total. Next question, number 9. Up here, just like the last one, we don't know how to find the volume of the total thing, but I can find it of each shape individually. So I'm going to with, start with the top again. We have a cylinder up top. Cylinder. Okay. The volume of a cylinder is equal to big B times H. Big B of a cylinder, just like on the last problem, is a circle. Area of a circle is pi r squared. Radius is 4 in this case. 4 squared is 16. Carry along our pi. We end up with 16 pi. Height in this case, it tells us right here, is 8. So we say 16 times 8, 128. Carry along the pi. So this is the volume of the cylinder. Next, we're going to find the volume of the rectangular prism. We're going to find each one, uh, each piece again separately, and then add the two together. So for the prism, big B times H. Big B is the area of the base. The base in this case is a rectangle. Area of a rectangle is base times height, 14 times 8. 14 times 8 gives us 112. So big B is 112. Height of the rectangular prism is 12, 112 times 12 is 1,344. Now, we have to add these two numbers together, but the cylinder has pi in it, and we're not going to use pi. We're not gonna, we can't add pi to something that doesn't have pi. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the calculator. 128 pi gives us 402.1238. So we're going to round to the tenths place. Just give us 402.1. So we're going to add that on, and we give us our total of 1,344 plus 402.1, 1,746.1. And that would be our total volume. Uh, that's it for this worksheet. There are a couple more questions that I did not do. If you need questions on those, uh, you can come in and ask any of us, and we'd love to help. 
Uh, good luck with this, and hopefully it works out.